Good morning, guys. So I've got something a little bit different for you today. I um, I'm obviously always doing the horses like that's my life, isn't it? <laughs> but nothing too exciting going on this weekend. Um, so I haven't took the camera up the yard to film my riding sessions. Instead, we're going to do a little bit of filming at home. Um, to be honest, I'm going to let Dee just do do it all. So this is just a quick introduction to to um, talk about something very different. I guess um, it's come about now because, well, it's it's Pride Month, so it's June, so it's Pride Month, so um, I think this is as good a time as any to put out our story um, around this subject. Um, for any guys out there who are going through something, or girls, obviously, but you know what I mean, um, who are going through something similar or struggling with any with any of this not just them but their parents as well um do you know it's something that we've gone through in our own life so i'm not going to go too much into detail and i'm going to let detail her story and then um i'll come back to you at the end but i i really hope you enjoy it um and i'll speak to you in a bit hi guys so it's dd or most of you know me as ben um, I'll be getting into that, and most of you don't even know me, so, hello, um, I'm Helen's daughter, um, and I'm transgender. Um, I just came here today to tell my story um, of my sexuality, just, just so all of you understand, and for anyone out there who is confused or like um, isn't being accepted, I just thought it would be a good thing to talk about. So it all kind of started off in primary school where I came out as being bisexual and I went through a phase of, of like joking around with my friends that I had a boyfriend, I didn't. But um, it was just a little joke that we um, went around. Most people believed it, a lot of people didn't, they knew it was a joke. And um, I never really was sure of myself until I got to high school and was I was still in that bisexual phase um, and I ended up getting a girlfriend called Caitlin. She was she was great. I knew her I knew her from a club um, and she was so sweet and to be honest I thought we were a perfect match but um, we ended up having to break up because me being the year seven that I was I was very stupid and I thought that um her friend her friends meant more to her than I meant to her and I just like I was just being a bit stupid so that had to end and then I a bit like two months later I got another girlfriend called Izzy and we lasted for about two weeks like really not long um, and then we like just got in a huge fight and then that had to end and Izzy was really good friends with one of my friends called Abby and yeah we all just like loved hanging out going out together and it was really fun um, and then after I broke up with her I started really questioning myself because if like just so you understand being gay or trans or bisexual it isn't a choice it's just how your heart feels like if you like if you love whoever you want then just go with your heart and I ended up having like a huge crush on this boy and I was like oh maybe I'm still bisexual but I prefer boys more and now I look back on that and I'm like that's really stupid because <laughs> um, I obviously just really like boys and I went around telling everyone like oh yeah I'm bisexual but I prefer boys like I will date a girl but I prefer boys um, and then like literally that lasted for about a few weeks and then I finally figured out that I was gay like just it just came to my head one day I woke up and um, I was texting this boy and I was like oh my god I'm gay like it's just like a revolution and um, like a realisation sorry probably not the right word um, and then I started coming out to all my friends. Oh, <laughs> I started coming out to all my friends, 
because, you know, they, they need to know, like, it's just necessary for them to know. And I still didn't came out to my parents at that point. Like, all my friends knew and they all supported me. Luckily, I got a good batch of friends who, like, supported me. I didn't lose anyone for it. They all supported me. And they all knew that I hadn't came out to my parents yet and they were, like, trying to encourage me and stuff. Um, and I... I don't think I really want to get into my coming out story with my parents because it's very embarrassing and I don't need that on the internet. <laughs> but um, it was, it was, I don't know how to put it, it was like, I don't, I don't even know, but it ended in, it ended in me crying and my mum was just like, like I told her, and, well she actually guessed, she was like, I mean to tell me that you're gay and I was like, I literally just like broke down into tears and she was like, oh, I knew. And I was just like, I was like, how? And like, basically, backstory, I used to dress in like huge fairy princess dresses and nursery and stuff and I used to always act like a girl and she was like, well, it's not really a surprise, is it? Like, we always thought you were gay because like, you just like, you act really feminine and stuff. And um, th by the next day, it had all been sorted out my parents knew, um, and I obviously told them that it's okay to tell the family because the family need to know. Um, and yeah, that just, that um, whole drama came to rest and I was happy with myself for once. Um, and in year seven, I'd never been the confident type. Um, I had never been out there, but I'd always been pretty feminine. Um, and a lot of people would go around being like, are you trans? Like, are you a girl? And I'd be like, no, I'm just gay. Like, really gay. Um, and yeah, I had a crush on a few boys. That didn't go that well. <laughs> um, I made a lot of enemies with the boys I liked because, you know, I, I just can't help myself. Like, any boy, he's kind to me and he's kind of cute instant crush <laughs> it's not like that anymore luckily but it was like that um and yeah um i had a lot of friends who supported me and um, my little clique um was always like making jokes and like um just being really fun and you know it was it was all great um and i always liked i always liked the girly look i always liked um, the long hair, the makeup, I always liked clothes, but I just, it just never came to my head that I was trans, like, I just, like, I never looked down on trans people or anything, I wasn't like, ew, why would you be trans, I was just like, yeah, I, su I support everyone, but, like, I'm not, like, it's not me, um, and I was still happy with myself, I, I got a lot more confident, um, in, like, the middle of year seven, going on to the end, um, and, yeah, that was that. And then at the start of year eight, um, I started kind of questioning myself, like, like, am I trans? And like, no, no, I'm not. It was like a huge fight in my head. Um, and I was like, no, I'm, I'm just gay. Like, I like, I like my boy body, and you know, I'm, I'm fine like this. And then, um, I just like, I always um hang out with the girls and stuff, and like. Um, I sat with all the girls, um, and we got, we all just had a lot of fun. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a girl. I'm no, I'm not. Um, I'm, I'm just really gay. And then, like a few weeks into year eight, right, I was like starting to really, really question it. Like, I started like, um, there was like tears. I started freaking out. Um, I tried to hide it all from my parents and stuff and all my friends um, because I d my struggle doesn't need to be theirs as well. So I just tried to figure out myself and then like a few weeks after that I was like to myself, I didn't tell anyone, I was like oh my god I might actually be trans and it just made perfect sense. Um, and this time I actually came up to my mum before anyone else because I feel like she really understood when I came out as gay so she's the perfect person to talk to about my struggles 
and uh, we were on a dog walk actually and I don't mind this story because it's not that embarrassing it's just a bit it's a bit harder than me coming out as gay obviously um and we were on a dog walk and I was like mom I think I might be trans and she was like oh really and I was like yeah like I was like yeah it makes perfect sense and she was like oh okay and we just started talking about that um and you know I, I didn't want to upset her or anything because I know it can upset a lot of people and then we um we got back home we discussed my name I didn't know I didn't really know what I was going to call myself then um and then we woke up the next morning and mum looked really sad like really so I asked her what was wrong she was like no it's fine it's fine I'm fine um and she was obviously struggling with my with my change like so soon so quick and um I guess a lot of people just don't understand it I knew mum understood it but um I knew it would be difficult for her um and um she thought that she was gonna lose the person that she brought up she thought that all the memories would just disappear but I assured her that I'm obviously still going to be the same person just you know different different pronouns and different name and I'm, st I'm still gonna have the same personality but she just um she just thought that she was gonna lose um the person she brought up and you know, I totally understand that. Like, it is hard. It's very hard for people. And, like, obviously me coming out as gay, it's, like, it's it's big for some people. But my mum had quite a few gay friends, so she understood the choice. Um, and I'm still the same person. I just like different people. Um, but luckily, eventually, we got over that um, whole scenario and we were back on track. Um, and then, like that day I think it was I went down to the shop and I came back and I was like you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna make that change and mum was obviously kind of surprised and so was I but you know might as well just get it over and done with um and that same day I came out to all my friends and this was a bit more difficult for people like people who accepted that I was gay were a bit like like, I got this one text reply um, from a person who's in my tutor and she sent, like, a bunch of laughing faces and I was like, what? Is this, is, is this a joke to you? And she was like, oh, wait, you're serious? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, oh, sorry. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, but luckily my best friends were, like, really supportive and they were like, oh, my God, we always knew and stuff. Like, we didn't think it would actually happen, but, like, we thought that someday it might, um, and I told them all my name was Dee Dee, and obviously they were questioning where I got the name from, and I'm still getting questions about it, um, today, like, where I actually got the name from, and I got it from a movie called The Prom, um, it's on Netflix, you can watch it if you want, great movie, I would recommend, but there's a character in it called Dee Dee, and she's played by Meryl Streep, and I love Meryl Streep. And I was like, you know, it's unique. And she's played by Meryl Streep. So, you know, yeah. Um, I'm going to pick that. I was stuck between Regina, Dee Dee and Laura. Because I went for a phase of calling myself Laura when I was a boy. And then everyone was like, are you trans? And I was like, no. And they're like, why do you call yourself Laura then? I'm like, I don't know. And then when people would come up to me in school and be like, hi, Laura. I'd be like, who are you talking to? My name's Ben. <laughs> Um, they'll be like, oh, but, like, your name's Laura all over Snapchat and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, it is. And they're like, why? And, you know, even to this day, I don't even know why. <laughs> um, I went through that phase. It was kind of stupid. <laughs> um, but, you know, I got out of that. And I was stuck between Regina and Dee Dee because Regina out of Mean Girls is, like, one of my fictional idols. Because, um, like, you know, I'm just... I, I, I just like the confident side of myself. Um, but I decided on Dee Dee because it's unique and like, you know, you don't hear it a lot. And when I got back into school, I had, um, I had a skirt on, I had a handbag, I had my tights. 
um, and everyone was like, I walked down the hallway and everyone was looking at me like, because like I only I only came out to the people that I had on Snapchat because I just sent like a whole um, message about it, and the people that did I don't have on Snapchat I, that um, didn't know like they like, they were obviously really confused. They were like, what, like why why um but luckily uh, uh the word gets around real quick so lots of people that i didn't think knew obviously knew and they were like come up to me like oh my god are you trans and you know i'd be like yeah 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 um and word, word got around fast and like the, the people couldn't really remember that well to call me dd and like to call me a girl because like obviously like like 11 years of people being like oh Ben's over there he's over there they would obviously now have to change that all like my family my friends everyone would have to change it all because it's it like it's just if you're going to be trans and you're going to have to make that change and like I know it's hard for people it's obviously hard for people to remember all of that but like you know it was hard for me like people would be like Ben I'll be like yeah and then I'll be like wait that, that's not my name anymore like, I wouldn't even remember myself. <laughs> and, like, um, it was, um, it was, like, about a month, say, before people actually got the hang of it. Um, and started, like, um, when I would sit down, everyone would be like, oh, hi, Dee Dee, hi, Dee Dee. But, like, obviously people that I don't talk to that much would still call me Ben. People, some people still call me Ben to this day. Like, um, cause they just forget and I'm fine with that. Like it seriously hasn't been that long. It, it hasn't even been a year. Um, so I don't expect them to remember like that. Cause obviously I didn't even remember. I still answer to Ben sometimes by accident. Cause you know, I'm being stupid. <laughs> Can't remember myself. Um, but anyway, now it's all sorted out. Everyone knows and like, um, I'm obviously like um, planning on getting surgery when I'm older and I've started like um, being really open with myself. They've changed my name on the register at school. I've moved into the girls PE groups. We are talking about me girl and uh, moving into the girls bathroom but obviously that's a lot bigger a bigger discussion. Um, but they've changed my name on the register and like all the teachers know, all my mum's friends know well most of my mum's friends know my whole family knows and obviously the people in the family that I don't talk to that much obviously don't know like we um crossed with one of mum fr mum's friends yesterday in town and they were like oh he's getting a big boy now isn't she isn't she and they're just like how are you how are you mister and then my mum's like oh it's actually missed now and I was like yeah and she was like oh really good for you and like you know like I, I'm proud, I'm happy that my mum can do that now, like, she can um, be like, oh, it's actually Miss now, um, and she's just letting people know. Um, my mum's work friends don't know because, like, you know, um, she doesn't really talk to them about it that much, so we're, we're hopefully going to get to that. Um, but yeah, everything's been okay with the family, everything's been okay in school. Obviously I've got like people asking me a lot of silly questions. Um but you know, that's um it's just it's temporary and they'll get over it eventually. Like there'll be no more questions to ask. Um because everything's just so plain um by that point. And hopefully by year nine, which is literally in like seven weeks which is i'm gonna go on summer holidays and then won't be in year eight anymore which is very scary <laughs> but hopefully by then um everything will be sorted out in school with the family with all my mum's friends everyone will know um and i really hope that um i like a lot of people can accept my choices and like you know um, I've, I've lost no friends for any of my changes. Um, I've only lost friends because I'm pretty bitchy. Um, 
but like throughout me being bi to gay to transgender oh, sorry just the dogs um yeah through all of my changes and i've lost any friends i've only lost friends through arguments and like one of my best friends that have supported me throughout the whole thing has moved schools and we got into a huge fight before she moved so we don't talk anymore and like you know i want to repatch things but she has her own decisions and um it's not because i'm trans or anything it's just because you know me being the confident me i'm i just i guess i don't think about other people that much but i'm, I'm definitely obviously working on that um but yeah that has been my story sorry i didn't go into much detail um i just um think that's as much detail as I can go into um at the moment um obviously if you have any questions ask me or ask mom or like just comment on the video or something I'm happy to answer questions or anything and yes for the people that didn't know I this is me now so obviously it's going to be a big it's going to be a big stretch but you know everyone gets through it so yeah that's me done i guess uh see you guys later like the video it will make my mother very happy <laughs> um and make sure to comment share or like you know just make sure to recommend it to friends see you guys later hey so i hope that you enjoyed that and you found it informative and helpful in some way, um, do you know, it's her story, not mine. I obviously have been involved and um, yeah, what, I, what can I say about it? It's, um, it was Ben telling me that he was gay was, um, I knew that was coming from when he was very, very young. Um, so it was absolutely no shock to me at all. And I was just glad, I guess, that he realized and he felt like he could talk to me about it. The change over to Dee Dee and um, the gender change. I'm, I'm not going to lie, and I haven't lied to her about it. The transition's been much more difficult, only because for a moment there, a long moment to be fair, I felt like I was losing my son and my Ben, and um, all of a sudden it felt like this person, like Dee Dee, this girl, was someone different it sounds ridiculous now but I'm just telling you because if you go through something similar may, you know maybe it's a normal way to feel maybe it's not this is just my experience with it and I all I want is for her to be happy you know she is my child regardless um the love I feel for her does never differ it hasn't swayed or faltered through any of this because it just doesn't does it you love them they're, they're your children and there's nothing you wouldn't do for them um but it just um you know he was my precious boy i guess and it felt like that was being taken away from me it wasn't at all by the way so if you feel that way you know rightly or wrongly it's just the way i felt i can't change the way i felt and it didn't last for very long and the transformation um the confidence has always been there with d for as long as I can remember, much more of a confident person than I ever have been, but the confidence level difference now is incredible. You know, like I can see how happy she is in her own skin. You know, I always thought she was happy in her own skin and I guess she was to an extent. Do you know, like I'm sure she's explained to her on the video, but um, yeah, it, this has gone to a whole new level and um i guess i just people have got people are gonna judge they're gonna judge but they judge you for absolutely everything you do anyway you know, you know every choice you make every thing you do and say they've got a judgment about it and that's fine everyone's entitled to their opinion but i guess what i want to say about that is it's not their choice and it's not their life and it's not their journey and all of that really means it's not their business <laughs> sorry to be blunt but it's the truth and that's the way I get through it do you know it's only my business because she is my daughter 
and it's her business because that's her choices and everything outside of that um everyone's entitled to their opinion but it's not their business so uh, you know i'd like to be nice and polite and say i take people's comments on board but i don't all i care about is is my daughter and 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 her being happy in her own skin so um yeah anyway i hope you really enjoyed that and if you've um if you've got any questions please feel free to ask away here she is she's so beautiful as well and oh don't leave sorry off. you're right <laughs> really tip me over also i know a lot of people go through a lot more difficult things than me but you know every every person ever has a different story and that's mine <laughs> sassy as hey. <laughs> yeah so anyway guys um i hope you enjoyed that it's something really really different but i guess i just want to put our story out there because it might help somebody else through theirs or might make some help somebody else make a different different decision in their life so, on something they've been struggling with and and that's what we want to do we just want everyone to be happy and confident in their own skin don't we so um in the meantime take care of yourselves i'm going to see you again really soon um, feel free to ask questions to share this with anybody you think might um, need it whether that be a parent or a child or or a friend or a family member or whatever and um, just remember like people are gonna love you for the person you are inside and and I, that doesn't change you know like she is no different at all, really. She might look a little different on the outside now, but on the inside, very, very same person that I have um, that I've brought up. So I'm super, super proud of her. Anyway, love you guys. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you really soon. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>